This week marks the final weekend of trials before final shape, so if you're looking for the most effective and accessible builds to grab that last minute loot, you've come to the right place. No more confusion about which aspects, fragments, mods, or weapons to run. I'm going to take you by the hand and show you exactly what to run and how to use it all in 9 minutes or less. Let's get started. In Season of the Wish, every single stasis subclass was effectively buffed to compete with Light 3.0. And while some of these buffs took an already broken subclass and made them even more broken, the same set of changes conveniently buffed every single part of the Stasis Hunter kit, turning the Stasis Hunter into one of the most versatile, powerful, and well-rounded subclasses in the game. Want to play mindlessly aggressive, put on frosties, glacier grenades, and start shadow diving people into oblivion like we're still in Beyond Blight? Want to be slippery and elusive, get access to the fastest movement ability in the game with Mask of Bacris while maximizing the damage boost from Arc and Stasis weapons. The main strength of Revenant Hunter is that it's the subclass that can be perfectly crafted to whatever your desired playstyle is, boasting unparalleled abilities to slow opponents by using shurikens, dust field grenades, as well as Mask of Bacchus paired with Winter Shroud, while at the same time having the ability to spec into one-shot pocket lethality by equipping buff glacier nades and shatter diving people into oblivion. Not only that, Stasis Hunter arguably has some of the best movement tech in the game. If you're on console, put on Mask of Bacchus and literally break ankles as you teleport so quickly that most of your controller brethren literally won't be able to turn fast enough to kill you. Or put on Stompies and cosplay as a grasshopper and play a strong aerial game knowing that if you're ever caught out, you can quickly shadow dive back into cover to disengage. So if you want to know more about the King of Cold, then check out my video over here. If you don't love it, I'll buy you an ice cream sundae at McDonald's. All right, Mr. Armageddon, I just don't have any time. So just give me the most brain dead, easiest broken hunter build to use because every minute I spend in trials is a minute I can't spend with my wife and three kids. Well, hold your horses there, dad. Allow me to share what I believe is the secret meta build that nobody is currently using. What if I told you that I could give you a pulse rifle that kills enemies faster than a sidearm? I mean, that would be absolutely nuts, right? Imagine deleting your enemies from 35 meters faster than they can blink. And more importantly, imagine doing this in a game mode where you don't have to worry so much about special weapons like snipers or shotguns. See, here's the thing. We're in a long range pulse rifle meta, but people just haven't realized yet. And what people also haven't realized is that 390 RPM pulse rifles when paired with Radiant can kill all opponents of all resilience levels in the sandbox in 0.6 seconds flat. That's right. Every single gunfight, you will have the TTK advantage against every single gun in the sandbox sidearms, SMGs, hand cannons, it doesn't matter. Once we give your pulse rifle the special source, it will outperform all of them. The irony is that I actually created the specific build to combat bow players last season, but now that Bungie have nerfed bows into oblivion, this build isn't just the anti-meta, I'd say it's damn near the meta in general this season. Go check out my build video over here. I promise it's every bit as interesting as the thumbnail suggests. Just quickly settle a very important debate for me, is it weird if a girl is still friends with her ex? Let me know what you think in the comments below and I'll pick one person to carry to the lighthouse this week and enter them in the draw to win this beautiful emblem. Don't forget also to drop a like and hit the subscribe button if you want to see more builds from me. As a small creator it means the world to me so thank you. Alright and now for warlocks and now I'm going to give you a build that might seem a little bit off the wall but it is absurdly easy to use while giving excellent support to your teammates. Maybe you're not a super 3kd trial sweat. Maybe even getting a kill is a bit hard for you. If you've been paying attention to the pvp landscape you may have noticed that everyone is holding hands and team shooting like they're an Expendables movie. And so my focus has been crafting builds that are designed to punish handholders and to exploit their very predictable patterns. You may have seen my Night Stalker Gear Falcons build, and if you enjoyed that, I'm going to show you the Warlock equivalent, the rarely seen but vastly underrated Stormcaller. See, what people don't realize about Ark Warlock is that it's one of the few subclasses that is quite literally designed from the ground up to mutilate groups of opponents. Their entire kit with Jolt quite literally relies on people being grouped up and close together. As in, Jolt literally doesn't work unless people are hand-holding. And it positively shocks me that people haven't caught on to the fact that the recent changes have propelled Arclock back into the meta conversation. For example, just look at the Lightning Surge melee. It literally becomes more effective the more people that are grouped up because it jolts between everyone. Plus, remember that we are in a primary heavy meta right now, there are far less special weapons out in the wild, which means that a lot of engagements will come down to who can kill who faster with their primary. Did you know that Arc Souls and the damage they do drastically reduce the TTK of many popular primary weapons. Imagine your team goes into every single engagement knowing with full confidence that you have the upper hand in time to kill. How valuable would that be 
in terms of supporting a good player. Add the exotic auto rifle centrifuge, which synergizes perfectly with this build, and baby, you got yourself a stew going. Go check out my arc lock build over here. I promise it's electrifying. All right, if you didn't already know, Stasis Warlock is unironically the hottest build this season after being buffed to the moon and back by the infinitely wise and powerful PvP strike team. There's quite literally no better class at immobilizing and brutalizing your opponents than Stasis Warlock, and that's because freezing is the counter to virtually everything in the game. Overshield freeze, invisible freeze, SMGs and auto rifles, freeze. Put on ice flare bolts and frost pulse with osmomancy gloves and conditional finality, and baby, you got yourself six different ways to freeze your opponents at your disposal. Because here's the thing, and I'ma be real with you, if you've got the skills, sure, you can use your speed to move, juke, and eliminate opponents, picking them off one by one with your game sense like a sweaty basement dweller after snorting two lines of advanced GG. But me? I'm like Rocky Balboa, the old version with arthritis. I'm here for maximum effect, minimum effort. No flash, just pure hurt and muscles. And there is no subclass in the entire game that can dismantle entire teams with the press of a button better than Stasis Warlock. Experience the more fun, effective, and powerful Stasis build in the entire game by checking out my build video over here. If you're not 100% satisfied with the subclass, I'll do a topless stream on Twitch. Enjoy. Just quickly before we cover off the rest of the builds, are you struggling with PvP or going flawless in general? Join my Patreon and get amazing benefits like weekly trials cards with me, as well as crucible coaching sessions. You'll also get access to a private VIP community full of chill, cracked PvP players to also help you go flawless and achieve your PvP goal. And now for Titans. No clickbait, this Solar Titan build is the ultimate support setup for newer players diving into trials. Prepare to be your team's support hero. Here's why. By simply playing, you'll be boosting your teammates with restoration, healing, and non-stop ability regeneration. They will be singing your praises. The star of this build is the exotic helmet Precious Scars. Precious Scars got a buff a while ago, but not many people realize just how powerful it's become in PvP. There are two standout features of the Precious Scars exotic. First, you and nearby teammates get restoration every time you get a weapon kill with a solar weapon. It's like a one-eyed mask, but you share the perk with your whole team. Now that is what I mean by support. In today's meta of primary fire, team shooting, and close formations, this means that when you score a kill, all of your teammates start healing. Plus, with the right aspects and fragments, you can get a whopping 400% increase in ability regeneration. Game changing, right? Second, whether you're revived or you revive someone else, you and your nearby teammates get a 100 HP mobile overshield. That's right, a regenerating 100 HP overshield. Revive a buddy and instantly flip the script on your opponents. In game modes where revives are key, like Trials of Osiris, this build will quite literally turn the tide of battle. Check out my build video over here. Your team will thank you, I promise. All right, and lastly, we have Void Titan. Void Titan has terrorized Trials of Osiris for what feels like an eternity, but Bungie recently announced that Ward of Dawn will be nerfed in final shape. So if you want to experience the unbelievable, oppressive power of Void Titan at its finest, now is probably the last time. See, here's the thing that makes Void Titan completely overpowered. Imagine if I told you that I had a cheat you can install that would nerf the damage of all of my opponent's weapons. Let's say that it takes all of my opponents between 30 to 70% longer to kill me. I mean, as long as I don't miss my shots, they literally don't stand a chance. But let's say I make it even more extreme. Not only does this cheat nerf their weapon damage, force them to take longer to kill me, but I also equip a weapon with a lightning fast TTK that exacerbates the difference between our weapon TTKs. That's kind of busted, right? But that's exactly what an overshield does. An overshield increases the TTK of your opponent's weapons, and increasing the TTK of a weapon is exactly the same as nerfing its damage. It has the same effect of forcing your opponents to hit more shots over a longer period of time. For example, this means that it takes four shots to kill from a 120 RPM hand cannon, increasing the TTK by 50%. Now imagine that it takes 1.5 seconds for you to kill me, but it takes my auto rifle 0.8 seconds to kill you. It literally takes you twice as long to kill me as it does for me to kill you. Want to learn more about the most broken and oppressive subclass in the game? Go watch my build video over here and see for yourself why it has been Titan Supremacy for almost two years straight. All right, I hope that helped. And if I could give one notable shout out for a build that's been getting absolutely wild reviews recently, it would have to be this Invis Hunter Gear Falcons build over here. Go check it out and let me know what you think. Much love, and I'll see you all in the Crucible.